There is concern in the Muslim community the Brussels attacks may fuel Islamophobia or even hate crimes. Fox 2's Dave Spencer talks to local religious leaders who are calling for unity and peace. Terror attacks in the name of the Islamic State and the Metro Detroit Muslim community takes notice. The pain and suffering for us is multiplied several folds because number one, there is loss of life, but number two, is committed by people who call themselves Muslims. Dr. Mansoor Qureshi is the president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. His goal is to bridge an ever-widening gap between Muslims and the rest of the world. He tried after the attacks that killed more than 100 in Paris and the attacks in San Bernardino, California. Now, he'll try again after the apparent suicide bombings at a train station and an airport killed more than two dozen and injured hundreds more in Brussels. Here at the Muslim Community Center in Rochester Hills, there's a simple message written on the marquee, love for all, hate for none. But it seems after each terrorist attack, those trying to spread that message have to start over at square one. All our efforts are kind of blasted away, you know, with every blast, with every suicide bombing or anything. Some Americans might not have any knowledge about Muslims and Islam outside of terror attacks. It's an obstacle Dr. Qureshi is well aware of. It is more challenging for our youth because um, the, the political leaders are the thought leaders and there are some there are people that our youngsters uh, look up to and if they uh, uh, speak about hate and, and, and creating divides in the community that's, that's very difficult to patch up afterwards. And on Wednesday the Ahmadiyya community will be hosting an open symposium at the Henry Ford College comparing what they call true Islam and extremists. We're going to the to the students, to the thought leaders, to the, the professors, and um, educate them about what true Islam is all about. All in an attempt to once again undo the damage of terrorism at the hands of ISIS. In Rochester Hills, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.